The woolly mammoth hasn't been around since the last ice age, 10,000 years ago. Well, it won't be roaming modern-day Manhattan tomorrow. Scientists say they just got a lot closer to the day it could. For the first time, it is not entirely impossible anymore. The discovery by a team at Penn State University was made possible because of ancient hairballs left over from woolly mammoths that might allow scientists to reconstruct significant portions of the mammoth's DNA and could conceivably, for the first time ever, resurrect an extinct species. Scientists would take DNA from the mammoth's hair and use that to alter DNA from a modern-day elephant egg. The new eggs would eventually be implanted in a living elephant, carried to term, and delivered as a living, breathing mammoth. There's probably no limit other than our own imagination as to what we can do with these data. Ross McPhee is a curator at the Museum of Natural History in New York. And while Jurassic Park coming to life may sound like a great idea, McPhee says, just like in the movie, just because we can doesn't mean we should. Are we going to bring them back just for laughs, uh, to show them off in, 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 in carnival kinds of contexts? Are we going to take care of them? Where are we going to keep them? Researchers say the practical applications don't end with the woolly mammoth. We immediately want to apply this knowledge towards saving endangered species that live at the brink of extinction today. Actually, bringing a mammoth back will take at least 10 years and at least $10 million. But for now, what a wonder to even think about. Jeff Glor, CBS News, New York.